Welcome to a new tutorial about um, patterns in uh, Blender. This is about uh, applying images on meshes and uh, I'm very fond of uh, crystalline growth and I think uh, architecture has a lot to do with it. Architecture of 20th, 21th century has a lot to do with uh, the crystallines, with all the symmetries and so on. And uh, we had that already in one exercise on uh, on editing and modeling uh, with the generic node and uh, to make a, a structure with a single uh, with a single element and now we want to do the same with uh, patterns as an exercise so it's not we are not introducing new uh, uh, techniques but uh, just uh, we are trying to get this pattern uh, done and make a nice uh, symmetrical uh, element out of it. So if we take that, this is our unit um, and it goes here from, you have to, so this is repeating at these points, therefore we have to have it X inclusive here or uh, let's, let's do it. I think we, we have exclusive, we start here and we end here, that's a repetition. So we have exclusive inclusive, inclusive, exclusive, which means we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten uh, 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 parts. So it's 10 by 10, which means we need 11 by 11 points. So, and this, these are the coordinates of our points. So that's the simplest way to, to create uh, these points and this array of points in Mathematica from 0 to 10, so it's 11 by 11. And this is the simplest way to uh, have this array with uh, the index of these coordinates in this list. So we have 120, 21 elements and these uh, these are the indexes to the corresponding coordinates. And now uh, <clears throat> we simply have to draw lines. We make a polylines along these things. So on you see it's 1, 6, 50, 53, 31. 1, 6, 50, 53, 31, 32, 65, and so on. So and uh, these are our lines and this is the image um, we create by that. So again, uh, let's make a uh, larger resolution, 320, 320 and we need uh, a little more uh, here, this kind of uh, in inconsistencies in Mathematica. So this is our pattern. In a, in a very rough way, of course, here the lines are the ratios of lines and, uh, and openings. It, it's different, but the scheme and the uh, symmetries are like this. So now we uh, had uh, this directory here. That's our directory of this tutorial. And uh, with this directory here, we uh, have our pattern as TIFF uh, and uh, put that and export that, which means now here we got our pattern. So that's the first step. Second is now with Blender. We uh, create a cube create an uh, element, we call that pattern O2. So we uh, go here for the node editor. The pattern here is the principal BSDF. Here we are. That's a copy of this, another view to the same um, panel. Uh, we add we add a texture, an image texture, it's here, 
open that uh, we have our tutorials exercise tool pattern this is our pattern and uh, go here that's our pattern we can have a preview it's here that's our the preview of our pattern up to now so now we have to uh, map this so we have to go to the edit mode of our object uh, select the surfaces and say this surface here go to the thing here look for our database with that and uh, go in with our mouse um, you want to see that I'm always forgetting that start so if we are here with our mouse you unwrap and uh, look at as material with the this is uh, mapped to this surface so now we want to have it to all surfaces of our cube so we simply say you unwrap and now there should be to have a continuous uh, continuous pattern there should be no double white or black lines so we have to rotate this rotate no that's not okay this is proper setup now you see it's a continuous flow of our pattern go here make a u again and this is needs a rotation as well that's proper now you see the symmetries popping up so it's exactly symmetrical around the cube so go here rotate wrong 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 hi what is this that's proper good now this one that's proper as well this one and that's not good rotate this looks good and here we are good 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 well now we have a nice pattern all around good that's our cube uh, leave it up move it up add a plane scale it by uh, six now this plane uh, material uh, we should go for plane as well and here we can uh, go for go edit u as well unwrap and it's this and uh, we can scale this now by six then we have the same but we, uh, I think it's better to scale it by three and here we are with a proper nice uh, setup so let's go for a rendering so we um, this um, lamp have it uh, 45 go for the rendering the sun always these are good parameters you see it's getting uh, interesting uh, now we are with the sun
Good. Here we are. So now <clears throat> let's uh, have a look. So the ground, for example, we don't want to have the pattern like this. Um, go here. We want to change that. Go for. No, you need the note editor. And instead of the base color, we put that. And uh, this is a pattern. So we have pattern 02. We want to we copy that. So that's just, it's a copy of that. And we say this is the white version. White. So therefore, the plane has white. So we don't want to have it with base color, but with metallic. So now we see that uh, the dark things are reflecting and the whites they are not reflecting. So if I put the same thing to roughness, here we have a nice uh, thing, but I think now we want to have the roughness in worse to the uh, to the metallic so which means we have an inversion so we need an inversion color invert here now you see the white are now uh, rough and the black are mirroring and we can put that to a certain ratio. Now this is a nice uh, setup here and uh, I don't think it's, it's, it's good but uh, we can change color here. So, but uh, now this is a white version so I think this is fine. We can increase the specular, no we don't want, that's good. So and then uh, create, make the, this one here um, I think we, we can do the same thing just metallic it's getting very interesting put it to black Let's do th try the same thing uh, and then the inversion. A little like that. So now the world. Here we are with an interesting setup. Let's go for rendering camera, focus camera. Zoom out, move the view, um, dimensions, it's a little too small, so It's fine now, so do the actual rendering. And save that.
um, is JPEG. Look at it. There we are. That's it. Thanks for watching and see you in the next exercise tutorial.